video, we're gonna be unboxing 21 venomous snakes. Let's get it started. Now my buddy Ryan just picked up all What's these up guys? venomous snakes. Ryan, tell us what we got up in these boxes right All now. right, so we got a wide variety of venomous snakes here. So we're, we're dealing with cottonmouths that are native down here to Florida in the Southeast. We've also got, we got Easterns that are native. Eastern Dimeback, white speckled rattlesnake, which is right in here, uh, it's a little guy. Uh, probably the one I'm most excited about in this group are these. These are little Yurutu Vipers, Bothrops Alternatus, little, uh, as you can see, there's a nice little map that he's got on there. Uh, these things are pretty cool. And then Stone, just getting this nice big Western Diamondback albino. Uh, this thing's gonna be a beauty. Yeah, Let's so see how the temperament is gonna be. I told Ryan like months ago, I've, I've been looking for a big albino rattlesnake just because they're super, cap super captivating. Now, the Easterns go for a lot more money, especially an albino Eastern this size would probably be, I don't know, $1,500, $2,000, if not more. Easy. So I went ahead and I got a Western Diamondback, and this one is, it looks like it's really, really light. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop these latches, and we're going to take this guy out first, just because this is the snake I'm keeping. Now, I might get a Yurutu and maybe possibly a white speck, but I don't know because they're pretty darn expensive. But this guy is a little bit on the cheaper side, and it's a snake that I've been wanting for a very long time. There's also a nice female baboon in here, too. And some uh, Sarasi Sarasis, which are little uh, like desert horn vipers, the ones that bury themselves in the sand. So kind of like my Fields horn viper, but instead of those soft horns that look like scales, these guys have like, they're still scales, but it looks like horn horns. Now look at this guy. He's really nice. And from the looks of it, he's got a pretty long rattle too. Now this is a brand new snake, so I have to approach this snake very cautiously because I don't know the attitude of this snake. I can't just go in, pick him up, uh, tail him, free handle him. Well, he's pretty darn big, so I'm probably gonna have to tail him. Let's go ahead, since he's so big, we're gonna use a double hook. Now a double hook is made for snakes like this, larger snakes, kaboon vipers, thick rattlesnakes, and it just takes less pressure off of their spine. So we're gonna pick this guy up. Yeah, he's got a super, it looks like a full rattle. So when you see a rattle that's super wide and it comes down to a small button at the end, usually that means that they've had the rattle their entire life or a very, very long time because their first button is gonna be super small and then the rest are gonna to start to get bigger as they age. Now, a lot of these albino westerns, some are really, really yellow and then some are like this that are super white. He's almost like a, a leucistic looking. Look at that guy. He seems pretty alert, but I mean, he doesn't seem like too bad of a snake, not too strikey, hasn't struck once. He's pretty laid back for a Western Diamondback. Yeah, very laid back. And you can see he's also got red pupils because he is an albino, not a leucistic. So he's gonna have red pupils instead of black eyes. Look at that beautiful little snake, not even rattling his tail. Pop a bit in there. It's gonna be his new home. Albino, Western Diamondback. We're gonna throw a water bowl in here and then start unboxing all these other snakes. All right guys, so next up we got a little female uh, West African Gaboon Viper. And I know she's a little moody. There they are, she's pretty. She's nice and light. But she's just telling us, back up. Don't hurt her, don't eat her. I love a feisty gaboon. Most of, the, most of the gaboons you see are like super tame, super chill, even my wild caught ones. So when you see a nice feisty one, it's really cool to see. So there she is in there. Since she's so feisty, maybe uh, maybe you gotta add her to Stone's world, so. <laughs> Drop a comment if you want him to keep this gaboon. <laughs> I already got two monsters. I don't think I need a little one too, but guess who might want one is Alex. So Alex might want to buy that little gaboon right there because the baby I gave him unfortunately passed away. Oh, well, that's a perfect one for you, Alex. Hit us up. The scientific name starts with Bothrops, then you know they got a bad bite. These are taped shut. You gotta be careful because there's holes all around here. And people are known to get bit through containers just like this. So wherever his head is pointing, you don't want to open that side. So if its head's pointing over here, we're going to open the opposite side. So we're just going to push our finger down because we don't want the entire lid to pop up. Pop up in one corner. Look at that. Super cool venomous snake. And the gentleman who we just got these from said these came from Willie from Venom Central, which has produced many, many of these Yurutus. Look at that. Super flighty snake. Where do you want to put this one, Ryan? Uh, 
All right, so that last one was a male, but this right here is the female. And I hate unboxing snakes from these little containers because when they pop open, they just fly open. So we're just gonna go like that. And wow, so she looks a little bit healthier. She's got a little bit more meat on her bones. Super beautiful, beautiful snake. See if you can get the chin on her. Go underneath, don't get too close because she'll bite the hell out of you. But look at the chin on those guys. Super white, super clean looking chin. Female, here were two. One of my favorite snakes. Always wanted a pair of these. All right, here we have a Cistrus Edwardsy. Is that how you say it? I like to call them Massasauga rattlesnakes. Now these rattlesnakes are super sentimental to me because my family is half Canadian. So growing up in Canada, there's actually islands on the Georgia Bay where we would go and we would catch these snakes. So this is a, a Canadian species. I believe they're found in some parts of the States too, but Canada is really where they're found. So I was telling Ryan, at first when I saw this, I was like, oh cool, it's, it's um, it's a pygmy. So this one, he doesn't know if it's a male or a female, but I was like, oh cool, it's a pygmy, but it's not, it's a Massasauga rattlesnake. But if you look, the beginning of the scientific name is Cistrus, which is the same as the pygmy rattlesnake. So technically we could even hybridize the snake, put it with my striped pygmy rattlesnake and make basically striped hybrids. Now, how cool would that be? Now, of course, we're not gonna do that. Most of these snakes, if not all these snakes are actually for sale. So if you're a venomous keeper watching this video and you like one of these snakes and you want to buy one of these snakes, go ahead, DM Ryan on Instagram at Ryan Gratney, and he will give you a good deal on any of these little bad boys. Look at that, a little baby Massasauga rattlesnake. Now to a lot of keepers, these are like, eh, because people really don't know what they are. But like I said to me, they're super, super sentimental. And this guy is like black and gray, which is a really cool color. Sometimes, sometimes they come in like a more greenish tint, but nonetheless, a super, super cool rattlesnake. That's Looks like, boy. oh yeah. Look at that, the Massasauga rattlesnake. The next snake is a cottonmouth, which you guys have seen on this channel many, many times. I mean, we've been out herping and we found probably 20 to 30 of these in one night, but look at that, nice. He's got a nice, Big dookie in there, but probably a, a wild caught cotton mouth. I doubt he was raised from a baby, but he looks pretty chill. I mean, even though they're a super common venomous snake, they're still one of my favorites. Now I am looking for a massive female cotton mouth to add to the collection. Now this is a good snake to use for my next video, which is gonna be snake venom versus blood. So the venom on these guys attacks the blood in your body very, very well. And when you use them for that experiment, the results are outstanding. But look at that. This looks like a, a male, right? Yeah, it looks like a male. Looks like a male, but. Which is a bummer, I could use a female that size. Super awesome snake. Now Ryan actually has, what, a leucistic cotton mouth. So he's looking for a female, that way he can make pets. These snakes are known to be super stinky. And a fun fact about the cotton mouse is they're known to actually eat roadkill right off the road. Whether it's a little rabbit, a frog, or even other snakes, cottonmouths are known to eat them. Now I have a friend, Rhett, that actually fed a big female he caught, six baby Burmese pythons, and it ate all of them while being pregnant, which is pretty darn crazy. Um, all right guys, so the next one we have here is actually a male, uh, Serastes Serastes, the desert horned viper. These guys are actually super freaking cool. I've wanted these for a while, but I never uh, never got around to it. Looks like it's got some good size to it. Let's go ahead and open this little guy up and get him put away. And you're gonna see in a second why they call them the horned vipers. Oh, that's cool. This one's nice and pink. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a nice looking snake. Is the camera picking up those horns? Let's see. Yep, picking them up now, like a little devil snake. Look at them. Yeah, look at that. And this one has some really nice pinks and oranges throughout the body uh, on the dorsal of it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but that is a really pretty snake. Yeah, that's a smoke show of a horned viper. Yeah, the camera's only picking up a little bit of orange. And look how person. they move sideways, almost like a, like a sidewinder, but it's obviously not, it's not a real snake. Yeah, so these are known to live in the desert and actually bury themselves in the sand. There's a lot of famous videos on the internet of these guys, you know, burying themselves in little pebbles and candy. 
and all kinds of stuff, but. Yeah, if you guys actually put like the candy ones, I think in Nerds, and those videos got millions of views of these guys burying themselves. But look at those little horns right above their eye. How cool is that? And they they almost look like fangs. Like they're a hard, uh, maybe almost like a keratin structure. Yeah, right? They look they look more like horns than scales to yeah. me. But, you know, obviously they're just an enlarged scale. Yeah. All right, guys. Now this next rattlesnake is a white speckled rattlesnake. Another rattlesnake that I've always wanted in my collection. I actually had the opportunity to get one of these super cheap back in the day for about 250 300 bucks but unfortunately i passed it up because i heard that they do that they don't do too well in florida now if they're bred in florida they do a lot better it's the wild caught specimens that don't do super good but look at the color super white and as these guys get older they'll get a little bit more whiter and they keep this color so it's not like they lose that white color but one of the coolest rattlesnakes in the world and there's some localities of these are like a blue white it's absolutely insane check out that little guy such a cool species okay now this next rattlesnake is another native venomous snake now this guy is actually a rescue who's actually caught in a residential neighborhood now he's a little bit on the skinny side he's not too bad to where he's on the verge of dying but he's definitely a little bit skinny super dark he might lighten up with a good shed but he is a rescue, so he's got a perfect rattle on him too. This is the largest venomous snake in North America. So these guys can get super, super big. As you know, I had a huge female that I actually gifted to Chandler, but these can get all the way up to about seven feet long. All right, guys, so we showed you one cottonmouth, but we actually have eight other babies, which we're not gonna show you, but that is entering into the count of 21 venomous snakes. And then we have a couple other horned vipers. We'll go ahead and show you one of those babies as well. Guys, check out this baby cottonmouth. Now, the cool thing about baby cottonmouths is they have a bright green neon yellow tail. Check out that tail. That's one of the coolest things about a baby cottonmouth. And what they'll do is they'll actually use that tail as a little lure. They'll shake it in the Everglades, hoping an animal comes to bite it. And that is how they'll catch some of their first prey items.